Each and every vote for Joe Biden was a vote to protect and expand the Affordable Care Act, not to tear it away in the midst of a global pandemic. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, front and center as the incoming administration promised to build on the Affordable Care Act. CBS reporter Natalie Brand live in Wilmington, Delaware with the Biden transition. Natalie? Hi, Alan. And President-elect Biden was asked by reporters this afternoon about President Trump not yet conceding. Biden, Biden called it a, quote, embarrassment, but he also indicated it is not slowing down his transition plans. President-elect Joe Biden discussed the Affordable Care Act after the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments on the constitutionality of the landmark health care law. Come January, we're going to work quickly with the Congress to dramatically ramp up health care protections. Is it time to concede? On Capitol Hill, Vice President Mike Pence attended a closed meeting with Senate Republicans where lawmakers expressed support for President Trump's challenges to the election results. Until the Electoral College votes, anyone who's running for office can exhaust concerns. The president continues to make unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud and ballot counting abuse. Meanwhile, lawmakers are reacting to a memo issued by Attorney General Bill Barr this week telling prosecutors they can pursue substantial allegations of voting irregularities before the election is certified. I thought it was perfectly appropriate. What he did yesterday is unprecedented. And unforgivable. Here in Delaware, President elect Biden says the transition continues and they have enough resources, even if the General Services Administration continues to block the process. Have you tried to reach out at all to the president? And if he is watching right now, what would you say to him? Mr. President, look forward to speaking with you. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. Secretary Pompeo says the world should have every confidence that the State Department is functional and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th. Senior administration officials tell CBS News there are still no plans to consider inviting Biden to the White House until after all legal options are exhausted. Natalie, the director of national intelligence is not giving the president-elect any briefings, high-level briefings at that. Is that having an impact on transition? Well, Biden has been receiving lower level briefings since he was formally nominated, which is standard. But you're right, Alan, he's not receiving the high level presidential daily brief as this uh, transition stalemate continues. Biden was also asked about this today, and he said it would be nice, but it's not critical since he's not in a position right now to make decisions on those issues at this point in time anyway, stressing one president at a time. Of mm. course, as you know, the formal transition happens later in January, Alan. All right. Natalie Brandon, Wilmington. Thanks.